Salt Wasted Management in Uganda, generally in Africa, especially plastic waste management, is one of the most important tools for maintaining the quality of life in rural and urban areas for better standards of health and hygiene. It becomes even more essential for the urban cities in Africa in order to preserve its natural and scenic beauty for which it is known in the whole world. Looking to the rapid urbanization and growing population, this sector needs immediate attention. Waste plastic is one of the uh, number one environmental challenges that, that we face, uh, maybe second only to global warming in its ability to impact everybody in the, in the planet. The municipal corporations and municipal committees mostly collect the waste plastics and dump at the designated dumping sites without any segregation and separation. There is heaps of garbage lying at these dumping sites without any proper disposal mechanism. And thus it becomes hazardous for the environment as well as the human health. Most of these plastics are single use and thus very less quantity is actually recycled. Keeping the above in consideration, engineers for Sustainable Energy Solutions, a non-profit organization based in the United States by providing technology-based solutions and in collaboration with UpCycle Africa in Uganda, can help to realize the dream of better managing the plastic wastes by converting them into clean cooking fuel, which can help improve the economy of the local communities and also help to keep our environment. Located in MPG, in central Uganda, Upcycle Africa is a social enterprise that focuses on environmental restoration, protection, and improvement in the lives of marginalized groups of people. They are addressing the waste plastic crisis in Africa by finding innovative, used for post-consumer plastic, such as for use as building materials. Creating wealth from waste is a key focus. In the process of uh, constructing these houses, we are empowering marginalized groups of people, especially women, youths, in waste collection, uh, waste compaction, and as well as turning plastic waste into products of inherent value, so that we can be able to have a, a sustainable planet to our future generation. Unfortunately, not all waste plastic is suitable for use as building materials. This is where the partnership with Engineers for Sustainable Energy Solutions comes in. Uh, we've been working with um, Upcycle Africa here in Uganda to try to implement a project to convert plastic waste into a sustainable fuel. Um, what you see behind me is a building uh, built from waste plastic bottles uh, that was uh, uh, built by the team at Upcycle Africa. Uh, because of the work we were doing, it felt like a, uh, an excellent partnership for us. Uh, we have similar goals in terms of uh, working with waste plastic and using plastic as something other than waste, as something that can be value added and something that takes it out of the ecosystem. Engineers for Sustainable Energy Solutions team, headed by Jeffrey C., have provided trash to tank processes to Upcycle Africa as a pilot project. And I'm very interested in the waste plastic problem that is present here because of its impact on community members as well as the environment and even economic systems in play in the country. I am specifically interested in how waste plastic affects the women of the communities because as a woman myself, it is very intriguing to see how different life could be and how much something as little as single use plastic and disposable plastic can affect lives and often for the worse. It's now training time for all members of Upcycle Africa to internalize how to produce plastic derived fuel oil from plastic waste. So it, that's the, the trick is the energy balance has to be the energy and the fuel that comes out obviously 
needs to be less, I mean, greater than the energy that you have to put in to convert it. So, so that's, the, that's the trick. The engineers for Sustainable Energy Solutions team have since set up and started experimenting with the process to find the best temperature and even what kind of plastic to use for the purpose of developing the process to create usable fuel down the road. The plastic that we can use in this process is plastic that floats. Plastic that sinks to the bottom is uh, not suitable. After some time, the trash to tank technology starts converting plastic waste into a liquid fuel that can be used as a substitute for diesel fuel or kerosene. kerosene from the station with this fuel, um, then you know you can really you can really have a benefit for, for people that are using kerosene for lighting or, or heating or uh, or cooking. It's later tested by the trainees whether it works in the fuel stove and the local lamp used in rural areas. The training has been the has been the best because I've got the first hand practical information and the skill. They have a step by step process of teaching and uh, the first time was to just to introduce the system to us and how it works and also to see how profitable it can be and how it can impact the community. The collaboration with the engineers for sustainable energy solution from Kentucky we really appreciative of the efforts and resources. For example, the machine that is transforming plastic waste into fuel, this is uh, something that is really mind-boggling. So if uh, we have the training and we have the machine that is actually a model for even other people, other youths out there to learn from, we can't appreciate it now. Thank you so much for being uh, supportive for Upcycle Africa work. Thank you so much for being supportive to the environment. It's been a really great experience uh, being here in MPG. Uh, we've been working with the staff and uh, the um, people here at Upcycle Africa. Uh, we did a, uh, a training uh, where we brought the trash to tank processor. We have run it and produced some, uh, some fuel oil. And our goal is really to see this uh, disseminated around the country of Uganda and uh, hopefully around the world.